Hello YouTube, and this is what we have in store for today. Check that out. I'm close to the camera because I don't want to stand up again. <laughs> That's very lazy of me, but it's not um, a matter of laziness. It's just that I want to show you before I dig in. So these are Brazilian esfijas. I hope I'm saying that right. Esfija from Brazil. Um, so they are originally from Lebanon, so they're Le Lebanese, but in Brazil this is very popular. Um, you can see this is the meat one, meat, uh, minced meat with um, all your onions and your tomatoes. They're like a small pizza, like a mini mini pizza. But well, let's give them a try. So this is the meat one. Let me take a look at another one. So this is corn with bacon and cheese. Corn, bacon and cheese. And you can see that we have these garlic powder, which is awesome. I love garlic powder. This is what they look like from behind. Um, and then I have this shredded chicken with cheese. It looks great. It looks very good. That's what it looks like from behind. And this is what the meat one looks from behind. I didn't I did not want to turn it around because meat is falling off everywhere. So let me have a seat and we will dig into the food. Yo, what's up guys, Tisha Polo here. So today we're gonna be eating these Brazilian, Lebanese, um, flat earth theory, I don't know how, how you can call these, but they look very good. And I had some already and it is amazing. Um, so I got it from this Brazilian girl on Instagram here in the UK and she delivers and they came to my house with a box of 30. They cost one pound a piece and they come in this box. So it cost me 30 pounds, but then they, they, they charged me four pounds for the delivery. So in total, 34 pounds. 34 pounds for 30 of these esfijas, right? And I've eaten half of it already with my wife for dinner and because we could not wait. I mean, we were, we were very excited to have these Brazilian treats, Brazilian savories, and we had some. And, but I decided, you know what, I think my viewers, or lack of viewers, <laughs> I know you're watching, eventually they will come. Seriously, I have zero viewers at the moment. But I know you're gonna watch. Somebody's gonna watch one day. You! Anyways, um, so I thought this would be interesting for my channel. And I believe the person who made these is watching right now. I believe so, because I'm gonna send it to her because I told her, hey, I really enjoyed having these and I really liked your your line of work and you're bringing these Brazilian treats to my house. So I'm gonna send a shout out to you. Um, I might even link her um, Instagram in the description down below. I'm not sure yet. Let's see how it plays off, but maybe, maybe not. You never know. Just check the description and if it's there, it's there. If it's not, then it's because I could not get sponsored by her. I'm just kidding, I'm not gonna charge anything. I'll link her to the description. Um, I'll link her Instagram in the description down below. Um, so here they are and without further ado, I'm just gonna dig in and eat these and tell you what they taste like. Um, although I know how they taste like because I had them because I'm so greedy and I was so hungry and they looked so good and they smelled so good. Anywho, 
I still um, I can still review them um, and because they are still good and it's quite warm I put them in the oven so that it would be extra warm and succulent and that's something interesting um, the lady who made these she actually sent me a guideline of how to heat or reheat these if they're if they got get cold she actually sent me a picture with all the recommendations and um, for the oven um, heat it up for three minutes for a microwave heat it up for 30 seconds and it was cute it was cute so let's go and here bon appetit okay so mm. things were falling off okay Cheers. First of all, let's talk about the size. It's the size of my hand, okay? That's the size. It's um, really filling. I like the meat. It is very well cooked, very well seasoned. The tomato and the onions give it a fresh taste so that's interesting but I love this it's not garlic powder now that I can now that I taste it it's just um, corn flour or powdered corn flour or powdered corn flour sprinkles I don't know what it is but I love it you can um, find these the same powder in Domino's Pizza so if you've ever had Domino's Pizza, you know what I'm talking about. It's those powdered. But they do have garlic powder though. Yeah, but this isn't garlic powder. It's just corn flour. So, but it does give it a good taste. Um, yeah, so I would say if you eat five of these, you would be full. Because it is um, quite doughy. Normally, when I order these, um, not from this person, um, this is the first time I ordered from this person, and it is very good actually. It's very similar to the ones I have had in Brazil because I've been to Brazil, wow, and I've had these in Brazil. So it does resemble, it's not exactly the same as my favorite restaurant that serves these in Brazil. I mean, <laughs> How many restaurants that serve this have I have I eaten anyways um, I think maybe two or three and my favorite one is one called Habibs or as you say it in Brazil Habibis I think that's how you say it um, I know exactly how you say it but let's just pretend that I don't for dramatic effect uh, but seriously I think it's Habibis or Habibs or Habibi I don't know it's supposed to be um, Arab and I don't speak Arab um, so it here in the UK I've had some of these and they did taste like pizza dough and it didn't taste like um, like they're supposed to they were a bit bready and this is quite light I mean I do I do taste the flour um, but it is not as you know, as um, invasive as other places. So I'm gonna go ahead and have the chicken. It's a shredded chicken with cheese. Mm, I love it when the cheese gets um, burnt. Really, really, really a good touch. Um, let's dig in. Mm-hmm. I prefer the minced meat, but the chicken is quite good. It reminds me of those tikka chicken. Mm. Not bad, it's good. 
It's even better when it's hot. It's not very hot because I've been talking too much. I let it cool, cool down um, while I was talking and rambling, but it still tastes good. You gotta cleanse the palate before you go on to the next one. My favorite, bacon. Well, not my favorite is fija, but bacon is my favorite kind of pork. Um, so let's try this one out. So it's bacon with corn and cheese. Mm. Good. Mm. Mm. That bacon. Mm. Mm. The corn gives it a nice touch. Well, these are very good. If you want to try them out, you should. It's the Brazilian Esfija, which are kind of like mini pizzas, but they're not supposed to taste like pizza. I don't think I've found anything like this here in the UK, but it's quite good. It is, it is very um, tasty, very mm, flavorful, and I would definitely order these again, especially for a party. Each one has a, a Sviha in their hand, and yeah, that would be awesome. That would be good. It's a good snack. Although if you eat many of these, it does leave you full. And I would love to do a mukbang, or a mukbang of these, but it's all I have for dinner and, and lunch tomorrow. I need to go to the market. We're in lockdown, and it's, it's harsh. I mean... You know how it is. This lockdown is taking its toll. Um, but anyways, have these. It's gonna be worth it, especially if you if you live in the UK, in London. I don't know where she delivers, but if you're up in the north, maybe central London, maybe, and then you can order some of these, and then you can let me know in the comment section below if you enjoyed it because it is a very famous snack in Brazil. And I'm gonna be doing these more often. So I've traveled a lot. I know more than 15 countries or around, more than 20 countries to be honest, I think. And I've had different types of food. So if you're interested in any type of food, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try to make an effort to eat those type of foods. So this was the first one, Brazilian Esfija courtesy of um, this lady from Instagram that my wife found and talked to her and told her, hey, send me some, we'll make a food review. So that's it for today. Well, thank you guys. I'm not gonna eat all of it because it's not a mukbang video, it's just a food review, but I will eat these off screen and that's it. Actually, I'm just gonna eat one more. <laughs>